Hello and welcome to the next instalment of Roadway TV. I'm Alex Minto from the Road Haulage Association. Roadway TV is your brand new fortnightly news and features roundup from across the industry. And you can find us on the RHH YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, as well as the Roadway Life app. First up in the news, last month saw the RHH release a nitrogen oxide emission assessment. This assessment provides an estimation of the changes to nitrogen oxide emissions between 2013 and 2025 based on the expected HGV use in Great Britain. The official statistics show that emissions have already been halved within the last five years. What these figures mean is that even without the enforcement of clean air zones, the nitrogen oxide emissions would still be reduced by over 80% by 2025 due to the normal vehicle replacement cycle. The RHA believes that clean air zone policies should work with the normal vehicle replacement cycles and focus on vehicles over 12 years old, rather than undermining business investment in vehicles, as the case is now. Last week, we saw another successful microlyse transport conference in Coventry. The event was attended by around 1,200 people with around 40 speakers. The conference is a great way to hear from industry leaders and learn more about the future of the road transport industry. This year, the RHA ran a policy clinic where hauliers could, could come speak to one of our experts about everything and anything road haulage. Now, something that affects all of us, fuel. I filled up my car this morning and the price seems to be shooting up again. So we spoke to the RHA's fuel expert, Nick Deal, to find out what's going on. Unfortunately, there's gonna be some pain moving forward because we're still expecting on current pricing that there'll be another couple of pence per litre added on to the price of a gallon. The whole issue comes about because of uh, the United States and Donald Trump um, pulling out of a 2015 nuclear deal with Iran. Um, this means that uh, tensions in the Middle East have increased um, and what really exasperated it was recently Trump has pulled out of some waivers allowing Iran to sell their oil or now not to sell their oil which has caused problems. That's all for this week from Roadway TV. Catch us again in two weeks time for your next news roundup.